Hey everybody, it's Sleeve, and I am in Marlton, New Jersey today. And uh, I'm actually on my way to go up somewhere else, uh, a little further up the road. A lot further up the road, actually, we'll be in North Jersey, filming some more content. But on the way up here, I saw this, and I had to stop for you. Um, I've eaten at Ruby Tuesday before. Um... When I was part of the uh, singles uh, class at my uh, church, uh, it seemed like almost every other uh, singles activity that uh, Brother Brad had uh, scheduled, we ended up eating at a Ruby Tuesday. So I've definitely had their food. It's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. The fries are great. Don't get me wrong. But I haven't had Ruby Tuesday. Let's see. I left the singles class at age 37. I'm 46 now. So about nine years. And I guess maybe I'm not the only one who's like that because unfortunately this Ruby Tuesday is closed. So let's take a look, shall we? And of course, uh, had to get the uh, had to get the uh, what was it, what do we call it uh, thumbnail. Yeah. But yep. This received the latest remodel because I remember it looked a little different for. And no, I'm wrong. It's not a Ruby Tuesday. Boy, am I smart. It's a Friday's. And you know what? I've never been to Friday's before, have I? No. Why do I think Ruby Tuesday? Because I've dropped by this a million times and I never so much as. Uh, oh, January 2nd. It's been closed since uh, the beginning of the year, beginning of the month, even. But. Yeah, I've driven by this a million times. And I never once thought to uh, try the food here. Well, however, it's been left pretty clean for being, uh, you know, again, today is the 27th, and they closed on the 2nd, so... Other than the windows being a little, a little dirty, it's been rather uh, well kept for the past month. We're looking through the solarium. See all the tables and chairs have been uh, put up for the most part. Yep. Yep, looks like it's uh, still in rather good shape. Yeah, I can't believe I called it a Ruby Tuesday, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever eaten at a Friday before. I don't think I ever have. And I don't even know why. We interrupt this video for a special announcement. Folks, let Valentine's Day soon upon us. I'm sure you're looking for something special for your somebody special, even if that somebody special is yourself. So check out my Redbubble site. With thousands of items, there's something special for anybody. Check it out. Mm -hmm. Personally, part of me would like to, you know, couldn't care if Ruby Tuesday ever, you know, uh, should uh, close or not, but that's because I just, you know, whatever. Here's all the the grease traps and whatnot. You smell the grease traps back here, guys. No homeless people here. Not slip shoes required beyond this point. Yep. Yep. If anyone's ever worked in food service, as I have, yes. I worked in a college dining hall. Um, let's see. About uh, 97, 98, no, 98, 99. That was the year I worked, school year I worked college dining hall when I was in Virginia, if I remember correctly. 
I mean, <laughs> I could tell you where the food came from, folks, and that's probably why I don't eat it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try the uh, banana pudding. Tastes just like chicken. <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah, I don't know why, for whatever reason, I guess because nowadays a lot of these restaurants are changing their look to the point where you really can't identify them as being distinct. You, you understand what I mean, right, guys? Everything looks like everything else. I mean, hey, look at fast food. You know, the uh, soulless boxes that you see now, McDonald's and Taco Bell and Burger King seem to be doing. Meanwhile, you can still find a classic looking um, uh, Wendy's. Actually, uh, I mentioned that to Slacking Packy when I saw his uh, picture of a classic Wendy's on YouTube. I <laughs> actually saw one when I was doing the Pen Clean Diner video. But, uh, yeah, most chains, it seems are kind of remodeling to look like everything else, but uh, occasionally you do find a few chains that either because they just decide they're not going to be like that or they don't have the money to like re remodel out of existence, but they still keep some classic locations open. But uh, that's not becoming the case these days if everyone's trying to look like everybody else. <laughs> Which is really sad in my book. I mean, after all, if you want me or really want anyone to come to your restaurant you, or whatever establishment you have, then you ought to make it make it uh, worth my while, so to speak. You ought to make it uh, where I want to go. Show me why you're different than all the other establishments out there. <laughs> yeah, show me why you're different. So I'm looking around here and I don't see a reason why this is any different than any other restaurant I've ever been to. Does somebody know? <laughs> yeah, you're really not going to see much in here. And that ought to do it for us here at the Marlton... TGI Fridays, which I thought was a Ruby Tuesday. Apparently, uh, apparently everything looks like each other now. There's no originality anymore. That's probably why places close now. Why should I go there? It's just like that one. Well, I'm going to get back on the road. Got some more filming to do for you. And so I hope you stay tuned. In the meantime, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell. Check out my merch. Check out the places that uh, recently closed in your area. You never know what you might find. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place. <laughs>